What's up guys, my name is Nick Torres. I play for the Round Rock Express, which is the AAA affiliate of the Texas Rangers. And today, I'm gonna to be showing you what is in my baseball bag. So, right here, you see I got a nice little Texas Rangers bag. It's Texas on the side. Got my name on there, number. Excuse me, Scout. A lot of you guys wanna know what I use, some of the brands I use, stuff like that. So, you should get a good look at what I got in here today. I got a bunch of Nike stuff, got some tights here, start pulling it all out. Express gear, a couple Express t-shirts, long sleeve, cut off sleeve. This is our pre-game stuff, number on the back. Pre-game uni, I got my pre-game shorts with the Texas Rangers logo on the side. Got some compression shorts, some sliders, Nike. Got some Nike shower shoes. Shower shoes are crucial. You do not want to be taking a shower in these gross showers where everybody else has had their feet. You gotta have shower shoes. Something you learn early when you first get to pro ball. I also have some rubber cleats known as molds, some Nike ones here. I use these generally during BP when I wanna have some, um, some grip on the grass or the dirt, but I don't wanna put on metal cleats. Metal cleats tend to hurt your feet more. These kind of save your feet. And over the course of a long season, you gotta do whatever you can to make sure your feet feel good, legs feel good. <clears throat> so these are my game cleats. Um, usually when I show up to the field, they're nice and polished up and clean and looking game ready. The clubbies, whenever we get to somewhere or here at home, we have the most amazing clubby here. His name's Kenny Bufton. The clubbies at the field will clean your cleats. Um, they polish them up, they scrub them up, usually with scrubbing bubbles. So you're looking fresh for the game. Let's see. Lastly, I got my Nike Turfs. So these are my all purpose. I use these for everything, lifting, Hitting on the field when I don't want to wear cleats, hitting in the cage, anything like that. These are my go-tos. And as you can see, I have all Nike everything, at least for apparel and uh, shoes. So I have a Nike contract, which means I get all my stuff through Nike. So I got my belt, random. I got my Rawlings gloves. So I have a deal with Rawlings where I get a glove a year from them. Um, and so I got my first baseman glove since I started playing first a lot more this past season or so. I've got my outfielder's glove, which I've showed you guys before on breaking these in. Now for the more random small stuff. So I got a little Oakley's case here. I've got my Oakley sunglasses that I've had for years now Corinne got me these in college and all I've done is continue to change out the lenses but the frames are the same ones I've had for probably five or six years now so I just keep them in my case throw them in my bag when I travel I've got a random bag of pine tar which as you can see is a complete mess so I had this company years ago when I was in low A send me this pine tar can't even get it out, it's all stuck together. It's called Gold, Gold Pine Tar. And basically you just use this stuff. As you can see, it's really sticky. You just use it for more grip on your bat. I personally like to have so much grip on my bat that I can hardly get my bat out of my hands when I'm done hitting. Um, I used to throw the bat a lot and I don't like to do that. So I use Pine Tar. I have my loop here. So basically this has my number on it. As you can just see, it's got a little thing that I can click my socks into. I just throw this, loop this through all my laundry, click it together, connect my socks to this, zip them down, throw this in the this loop in the laundry, and the next day, or if I throw this in before the game, by the time I come back in from the game, all my stuff is washed and hanging up in my locker, and this is just hanging up in my locker as well. After the games also, I'll put all my clothes on here, throw it in the laundry. The next day I show up, this is hanging in my locker by itself, and all my clothes are hung up and washed. 
So when I got here, I got hooked up with some nice ranger socks. I'm not quite sure what these are, but they're sweet. I got these colors, boom. And I have these Texas socks, pretty sweet. Felt right at home. I got some more random socks, an arm sleeve. This thing, so basically this is just like a knee pad. I put it up on my leg. So I've had some pretty bad scratches lately. Not so much right now, but I just put that on around my leg and it acts like a nice little knee pad underneath my clothes. It's not too heavy. I've got a random open bag of sunflower seeds, Chinook seeds, the best seeds that you will find in baseball, especially. I used to have these with San Antonio last year, and now I get to have them again. They're the best. Only seen them in Texas. Gotta have a baseball in your bag. Never know when you're gonna need it, especially for the off season. Lastly, at least in my main pocket, I have batting gloves galore. So I have a Franklin batting glove contract. So they just send me as many batting gloves as I need. Um, I have a ton more in my locker, but I like to be prepared on the road, especially in the, some of the places that we play are so humid that you sweat through your batting gloves immediately. You, you spend 10 minutes in the cage hitting and you sweat through your batting gloves. So I've got, let's see, two pairs, three pairs, four pairs, five pairs, six pairs. Um, Got to be prepared, but they're sweet. Lastly, in my little pocket here, my little secret pocket in my bag, all I got is some contact solution. Never know when that's gonna come in handy. Some shea butter for getting rid of scars since I'm constantly getting my legs tore up. Um, I used to put this on my hand. I had a bad slide last year that cut my hand all open and um, just to try and get rid of scarring. I never really use it, it's just in my bag and I've never taken it out. I've got an old piece of a t-shirt that I cut the neck off of because the neck was riding up so high and I use this as a headband sometimes when I have long hair. But it just sits in my bag and takes up space. And last thing, I have my little rubber ring that I put on when I get to the field. So when I get to the field, I don't want to wear my regular ring obviously while I'm playing um, but I still like the feeling of having something there so uh, when I get to the field I take this one off put it in my locker and I put my rubber ring on and boom I don't even feel it I'm good to play so that I believe is everything check this last pocket that's it that's it guys that's everything that's in my bag normally I'll have um, when we travel I'll have my um, uniform and stuff in there too, but the clubbies usually will pack that stuff before we leave. So if we have a getaway game, our last day of the series, uh, we come back in and all of our stuff is packed up. Um, at least all the things that we need. So like our road uniforms and everything will already be packed and whatever cleats or shoes we're not wearing will already be packed in our bags and really anything else that's just kind of sitting around in our locker is already gonna be in our bags. And then we just kind of have to throw whatever we use during the game in our bags and we're good to go. We just leave it, uh, leave it on our seat and head on out to the bus and everything shows up wherever we're playing next. So the club is doing an amazing job of you know taking care of us. So that's it for my baseball bag. Also, I have a bat bags that has probably 10 bats in it that I bring with me on the road. Uh, I definitely don't need to bring that many, I just kind of do because I like to have some options. Um, I got a bunch of different models in there and stuff, but it's same kind of, same basic thing. I got a Texas Rangers bat bag that I just, you know, leave next to the rest of my stuff here and it shows up wherever we go to play. That's about it guys. Let me know if um, there's anything else that you want to see. Let me know if you have any questions on anything. That covers pretty much everything that's in my bag, everything that I normally take with me or have here at the field with me. Um, as you can see, I got some staples and I got some completely random stuff too. So if you guys wanna see more baseball breakdown videos, make sure to like this video, subscribe, tell us in the comments what you wanna see, and um, we'll do our best to make that happen. So 
thank you for watching and we'll see you guys next time.